What's up everybody, Poke Chaos here, back for some more Pokemon TCG Online, and today we're going to be going ahead and using the Mewtwo Mayhem theme deck from Evolutions with all these nice nostalgic artworks. It's got Nidoking, it's got some good, some decent stuff. I, it's better than the Pikachu deck. If you guys are excited for this deck, make sure to hit the like button on the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Go check out the Pikachu Power Deck video. Make sure to go check out the Legendary Battle Deck videos of Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Especially the Zapdos one. And just go check out any openings that I've done. Check out the MLPB. You know, all that good stuff. We're facing Salami 30. Uh... We're going to put Sandshrew out because he's got the Hoopa deck. I don't need to deal with, like, super effectiveness on my first turn. Although I think he's going first. Maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know if he chose to go first or if he chose for me to go first. And, of course, he has Litwick that does um, extra damage to me, but I don't do extra damage to it because it's weak to dark. What I hate about like psychic types in this game is that you know some of them are ghosts and they're weak to dark. Makes sense. Then some of them are psychic and they're weak to psychic. Doesn't I mean it makes sense, yeah, but at the same time it just makes it a little bit more complicated. So we have are you yeah, you're resistant. You resist, so there's no point in trying to attack. And if a defending Pokemon tries to attack, your opponent flips coin. If it fails, that attack does nothing. Is Litwick going to try to attack? I don't think so. And Hoopa's not resisted, so that's good. He's just going to build up for that portal strike. Which means I'm probably going to lose. I want to get... Need a king out. I want to use Need a king. I want to make a Need a king break deck, but I need more actual evolutions packs in order to do that. I think I've used my all my codes so far for evolutions packs. Uh, we got Tierno here. We got another Nidoran, but I don't really have a reason to build up a second Nidoran. We had Doug Trio and Haunter. And Doug Trio's not terrible. It does 130 for three energies. Yes, it does 20 damage to each bench Pokemon. I think it's yours. Oh, nope. It's each of your bench Pokemon. Which actually is kind of stupid. Because Earthquake at least used to do damage to everything. And this game's just not going anywhere. This game is literally just not going to go anywhere because he's, like, not doing anything with Litwick. And he's just building up his other Pokemon on the bench. Like, I don't have any reason to put a Fighting Energy on Sandshrew. There is no Sand Slash. Sand Slash doesn't exist in Evolutions. Sand Slash doesn't exist in this deck. I don't know if there's been a Sand Slash card in a while. So there's no point in putting energy on Sandshrew. I have a switch, so if I can get Nidorino, although it doesn't matter because I already know what's going to happen if I get Nidorino. I could switch out, take out the Litwick, and then he'll just go right out into Hoopa and Portal Strike me. Or whatever the move. Yeah, Portal Strike takes me out in one hit because I'm weak to it and because it would have taken me out no matter what anyway. See, he's not doing anything! Let's just switch. Let's switch. Let's go out to Niran. Let's double double stab. I don't even get to do damage! Because I ain't two tails! I need Diglett at this point. Oh, now you're going to freaking use Professor's Letter, get energies, so you have energies for Hoopa and for 
retreating Litwick and yada yada. What's his weak do? Fighting. I mean, fight. Okay, end your turn because you played the energy on Hoba. Game. Stop giving me stuff that I don't need. Play the energy on Litwick so you can retreat to Hoopa. Nope. Play the energy on Litwick so you can retreat to Hoopa. Nope. Okay, that's it. I'm not playing this game anymore. I don't care. I don't care. I had the biggest dead hand. I wasn't drawing anything, and he wasn't doing anything. I can't play a game where my opponent just doesn't do anything. All he had to do was retreat. Nope. Oh, great. Okay. We're going to use... Not that it really matters. Because I don't have any psychic energies... I did not want to put it on Sandra, I wanted to put it on him on Chan. It's okay. It's okay. I love this card. It's not hollow. But I love this card. Such it's such a basic artwork. But it just it's it, it's nice looking. And of course you have Mill Tank that's weak to fighting, and I put the energy on him on Chan, but it went to Frickin' to Sandshrew for some reason. Okay. I get him a choke. Don't have him a chop, so it doesn't matter. So I can get three energies on Hitmonchan. I can just retreat to Hitmonchan and do damage. But that's if I actually can then get an energy to put on Ghastly. Oh, okay, I see what Little Grudge does. Not much. All I had to do was put the energy on him on Chan instead of Sandshrew in the beginning. Litton saved me. I only bought Litton of the Alolan starter plushies because Litton is the best starter. I don't care. I got Charmander also because Fire Starters are the best! Except for Cyndaquil. Not really a fan of Cyndaquil. Not saying that I, like, don't like Cyndaquil, I'm just not, like, I, I honestly, th well, I don't know, Cyndaquil was good in playing Gen 2, in playing, like, actual Gold, Silver, Crystal, but then, um, when it became 4th Gen, when it became Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, uh, Nidic, er, I, I don't know what I'm saying. When it became Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, it was Totodile was better because Totodile actually had physical attacking moves that were of the water type, and of the ice type. You know, it was actually good in that sense. Thank you for switching so you can take out my Ghastly so I can destroy your life with Hitmonchan. Thank you. Unlike the last person who just decided, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit here like a stupid person. 180 damage. Get out of my face. I don't need Professor Oak's hint right now. 
That is the one card I don't need! Although if he does have Subat, I take like six... Okay, he doesn't. Yeah, so it's only 20 damage. Okay, I can I can use the fighting energy here on him on Nita King. That's fine. Special punch. It feels so nice to actually be like doing something with special punch hit Monchan. Like, I love this card. I want more evolution booster packs in real life and in TCGO. I have. I, I don't see. It's hard for me to say like what I have, what I don't have, because I don't know 100% when this video is actually gonna go up. Um, but at this moment I haven't opened up very many booster packs. I'm going to be, uh, maybe have already gotten the booster box, maybe not. At the moment of recording this video, do not have the booster box. I do not have, um, the Elite Trainer box. I've opened up, like, very few packs, and... I, I really want to pull Hitmonchan. I really want to uh, pull a Hollow Nidoking. I want to get Nidoking Break. I want to get the Charizard. I want to get like the EXs in the set. To me, aren't um like oh cool. I got this EX that I really want. Okay, he conceded because all I had to do was special punch. Like the EXs are. Not bad, but there's nothing like there that's just like, I really want this EX. But I really want the hollows, and I really want. I, I mean, I want to complete the set. <sighs> I hit the wrong button. Um, I'm gonna use Onyx because he has the electric. Wait, what deck am I against? This thing glitched out big time. That was not... That wasn't the deck that was shown. At all. I mean, I, yeah, I can use Harden with Onyx. And it prevents the damage if it's 60 or less. Which is good. Because most likely it will be 60 or less at, you know, first turn attack. But this has, like, Togekiss, Lantern, and Ampharos on it, and that is not the deck. Yeah, this is the, this is the actual basic yellow that you get in the game. But that, I can't click on it. But that's not, that's Ampharos, Lantern, and Togekiss. You can look. Well, no, I should still be fine. End your turn! You can't attack on the first turn! Thank you. Sheesh. Okay. Fighting energy. We're going to Professor's Letter for Fighting and Psychic. Because I only need two is Onyx. And we're going to Tierno. You always want a Tierno, or you, well, I don't know how to put it. You always want to use your, like, your searching cards before your drawing cards. Because if you search out two energies, then you have less chance of drawing those two energies with your drawing card. <sighs> Jesus, I just hit the desk. So he shouldn't be able to attack me with Pikachu at all, uh, because he would still only have Pika Punch to use. He does get the Manectric, which isn't really a problem. It does have 100 HP. Yeah, Pika Punch can't do anything. And I can go ahead and Rock Throw for the 80 damage on Weakness. Draw my prize. And I have all these psychic energies with no psychic Pokemon to use them with. 
And he can't attack me now because he doesn't have any energies attached. I don't know if I want to... As long as Pokemon is on your bench, put all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks. Okay, so as long as Diglett's on the bench, it doesn't get damaged by anything. Um, again, I can do 80 to the Manectric. It doesn't die, but it will do 80. I think I kind of want to power up Diglett for a possible Doug Trio. I would love to have the Nidoran line in my hand so I can power up a Nidoking with all the psychic energies that I have. Okay, Pokemon Center Lady really doesn't help you because if I do 80, you still die, although you are going to use Lightning Turn to switch to Pikachu, but Pikachu also dies, so whatever, doesn't matter. What is this attack with 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon? What if he doesn't have a bench Pokemon? Mewtwo. I'm going to use Mewtwo because this is the Mewtwo Mad or Mewtwo Mayhem. I always want to say Mewtwo Madness. I know it's not Mewtwo Madness. He quit. He conceded. Ah, uh, the Mewtwo Mayhem deck is, of course, the better of the two. Even though I didn't really get to show it off all that much, but you're still better off just using the uh, Legendary Bird theme decks wherever they are. Crushing Current. Crushing Current is pretty much your best bet. Otherwise, I think I have some ideas for some new stuff that I want to do with TCG Online. Of course, I want to uh, get some more Evolutions packs and open them and stuff, but should be coming back with some more TCG Online with some interesting ideas. I will see you in... T I had if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys next time. Bye.